because of my friend Tony DeSantis, because I have admired Tony for a long, long time. I've had the pleasure of working on one of his shows way back when, one of the best times I've ever had. Unfortunately, Tony was in that, wasn't in that show. He had originated it, he had written it, um, but he was moving on to other things, and so I auditioned for him, and I was actually quite nervous auditioning for him. Um, and I, ne I had never done that kind of comedy before, so I didn't know if I had it in me. But Tony was incredibly supportive of me when I got in there. They hired me, which was heaven, and I had one of the best times I've ever had in the theater uh, doing one of Tony's shows. So when Tony came to me, and we've, you know, we've talked ever since, and uh, when Tony came to me with, with, with Boombats, it was like, it was a no-brainer. You know, it's a great challenge for me because uh, I think, as they say, dying is easy, comedy is hard, and I absolutely agree with that, and so I, I love the challenge. I've always loved Tony as a writer um, and as a human being, of course, but that was the attraction, knowing that I could be working with him. My character, Lorenzo. Well, I don't want to give too much away. Right. Let's say Lorenzo is having a bit of a crisis. <laughs> You're right? He's not sure which side of the fence he's on. Uh, he's had a very sort of difficult relationship to say with his brother over the years, and I think Hopefully over, you know, when you watch the series and things that Tony has planned for later on, when the show becomes so incredibly successful, it's going to take us back into the early life of Lorenzo and um, Bobby Bumbats. Uh Yeah, I, I, Lorenzo is, I'll leave it at this, he lives with his mother. 